Welcome to an extended episode of the What's What Service Account series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a few of the things that we talked about in some of the previous episodes. If you haven't caught those yet, check them out in the description. Without further ado, let's see service accounts in action. For this first demonstration, I'm going to show you how to create a compute instance with a user managed service account attached to it and how a user with access to this instance is able to use that service account. In this example, in addition to the project viewer role, my user account is granted the compute admin role on the project so I can create and manage compute instances. I also have the role service account user, but only for the service account called bucket admin and not the entire project. The bucket admin service account has a role storage admin assigned to it that allows it to create and manage GCS buckets. Okay, let's start by creating a compute instance by going over here, compute engine, create. If you scroll down here, this is where you'll indicate what service account you want to use for your compute instance. So let's pick one that I don't have any access to. Uh, let's pick SQL admin and hit create. And you'll see that this isn't going to work because I have no roles assigned to my user account over this service account. And there it goes. If you hover over this little red circle, it says it right there that I need the service account user role on that service account. So let's just delete this and create a new instance with the right service account. So once again, we're going to scroll down here. And this time I'm going to pick the bucket admin service account, which I do have access to. I am the service account user for that service account. So give that a second while it creates. Boom, there it is. Green check mark means that the instance is running. So next, I'm going to show you that I don't have access to create a bucket using GSUtil down here. I'm going to try to make a bucket. And this should fail. And yes, access denied. So I don't have access to create a bucket, but I do have access to SSH into this instance. And now that I'm in there, I can show you with gcloud auth list that the credentialed account isn't me. It's the service account attached to the VM. And there it is, bucket admin. So if I'm bucket admin, that means I should be able to create a bucket even though I couldn't do that as myself before. So let's try that. gsutil, make bucket, a new bucket. And there it is. No error message. And that's because I created a bucket as a service account. Note that I only needed the service account user role to attach the service account to the instance. But to use a service account from the compute instance, I just needed to have SSH access. That's really important to keep in mind for users that have access to your VMs. For this next demonstration, I'm going to generate a key and show you how I can use it to act as a service account to access resources. This time, I'm going to be a user with the viewer role on the project and the service account key admin role granted only on the service account called SQL admin. That service account has a cloud SQL admin role assigned, so it's able to create new cloud SQL instances and manage any that are already in the project. If you wanted to create a service account key through the cloud console, here's how you do that. Under I am an admin, service accounts, and hit that menu right next to the account that you want to create a key for. There should be a create key option right there. But for this demonstration, I'm going to use the cloud shell. So I'm going to create a key down here. That's gcloud, I am, service accounts, keys, create, followed by a file name. And then we're going to indicate the I am account that we want to create a key for. So remember, this will only work if you have the service account key admin role assigned. And since I don't have that role assigned to me uh, project wide, if I put a service account that I don't have access to, like bucket admin, uh, it won't work. See, permission denied. Um, so let's put in a service account that I do have that role assigned for, and that would be a uh, SQL admin. And that worked. So now the private key was saved to that key.json file I indicated in the command. 
you can check the keys that already exist with G Cloud IAM service accounts keys list, followed by the IAM account flag and the service account that you want to see a list of keys for. The output for this is going to include the key I just created as well as a system managed key that was added when the service account was created. So now that we have a key, let's see what I can do with that. So first, let me just show you that I do not have any roles or permissions that allow me to create a Cloud SQL instance. So let's try to create one as myself. And this should fail. Yes. So I don't have that permission, but my service account does. So how do I use it? G Cloud auth activate service account followed by the service account name. And then indicate the key file. That was key.json. Boom, activated service account credentials. So to verify that, G Cloud auth list will show that SQL admin is the active account right now. And that means now if I try to create another SQL instance, it should work. And success. So remember, the service account key admin role was only used to create the key. A user with as little as a project viewer role will still be able to use that key to act as a service account. So be sure to have a really secure way of distributing that key and a decent key rotation process in place. This last demonstration is going to be like the last one, except I'm going to be impersonating a service account without keys. My user account will only have the viewer role on the project. On the IAM policy of the service account SQL admin, I'm going to have the service account token creator role and nothing else. Let's see what I can do with that. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to delete the database instance that I created in the last example. So I'll try to do that first as myself. So G Cloud SQL instances delete, followed by the instance name, hit yes, and there you go. I'm not authorized to make that request. But now let me run the same command, except this time I'm going to add the impersonate service account flag, followed by the service account name. Do I want to continue? I'm going to say yes. And as you can see, something is happening this time. And the Cloud SQL instance is deleted. And I was able to do that without having any roles having to do with Cloud SQL assigned to me and without the use of any service account keys. All I had was a service account token creator role on that one service account's IAM policy. The impersonate service account flag works on any G Cloud command and is the most straightforward example of how you can use the service account token creator role. The role also lets users create short-lived credentials and generate service account access tokens so that they can send requests to the Google Cloud REST API as a service account. Well, that's that for what's what. What do you think of the series? Do you have any other questions about service accounts? Feel free to let us know in the comments below. And to learn more about service accounts, visit cloud.google.com slash IAM slash docs slash service accounts. Thanks for watching and see you next time.